uh, be used in the patient on the patient's tooth. Black's instrument formula. Black designed a formula that describes the angulations and dimensions of the working end of a hand instrument. Hand cutting and scaling instruments have three sets of numbers that identify the width of the blade, the length of the blade, and the angle of the blade. And scaling instruments usually are used by um, the hygienist. So they'll have their instruments already coordinated and they'll have like a specific color bands on them so that they know what instrument is what and what set it belongs to. The numbers in GV Black's instrument formula. So the first number is the width of the blade in, ten, in tenths of millimeters. So for example, if the number is a 10, the width is one millimeter. The second number is the length of the blade in millimeters. So if the number is seven, the length is seven millimeters. The third number is the angle of a blade in degrees in relation to the handle. So for example, if the number is 90, the working tip or the blade is at a 90 degree angle, right angle to the handle. So instrument classification. Um, there's examination instruments, there are hand cutting instruments, there are restorative instruments and accessory instruments. Okay, so instrument sequence. Um, and in a procedure tray is set up from left to right. So based on how instruments are transferred and used throughout a dental procedure. So whatever the dentist is going to use first, those instruments should be furthest to the left. And then all the way to the right should be the last um, instruments that he will use in a procedure. And you will learn these as you start doing the procedures because they're going. the dentists already have a set way that they do things. So they're going to use those instruments all the time for the same procedure. The clinical assistant uses the left hand when transferring instruments. Most frequently used instruments should be placed closer to the dentist for ready availability. And this is an example of an organized instrument tray. Um, this is a, a tray set up for a, an amalgam filling, a silver filling. And of course the mouth mirror would be first. Um, Cause this is the, one of the first things that the doctor will use. Uh, the cotton tip pliers or the locking cotton tip pliers and then the rest of the stuff as he will use them in sequence. This is exactly how he's going to use them too. The, arti uh, the articulating paper to check the bite, cotton rolls, gauze, um, the, um, the amalgam well where you pour the amalgam in here and this is of course to you fill these little ends here with um, amalgam and this, this is what he's going to use to put it inside the tooth. So examination instruments, the most often utilized instruments on the tray, they can be used in procedures ranging from checking a specific problem, providing a thorough oral examination, evaluating a restored tooth. So examination instruments are usually going to be a basic uh, or a basic setup, and I'm pretty sure you've probably seen this in lab. So a basic setup consists of a mouth mirror, um, an X-Pro or an Explorer. So an X-Pro would be it has like a shepherd's hook on one side and then it has um, a probe on the other on the other side. That's what an X-Pro would be. And then sometimes they'll have a cotton tip pliers inside the basic setup. But this will be determined by the office that you go to and the doctor that you work with. Um, where I used to work before, our basic setup only had the mirror and the X-Pro. The uses for the mouth mirror, okay, you can use it for uh, retraction and for indirect vision because obviously if he, the doctor's working on the top and he has to see he doesn't want to strain his neck um, to try to see in there so he can use the mirror to for indirect vision um, so that he doesn't have to you know like twist his head to try to see all the way up there and for retraction also of the cheek or the tongue Hand manual cutting instruments. The next group of instruments placed on the tray setup after the examination instruments. The dentist will have a preference as to what instruments they want included in this section. So a combination of rotary instruments and manual cutting instruments interchangeably throughout a procedure. Restorative instruments. These are used to place condense. Condense means um, to kind of like push down or to pack and carve the restorative dental materials back to reflect the normal anatomy of the tooth. And of course, this, this can only be done for, well, the carving anyway, 
with uh, hand instruments, that can only be done on a silver filling because the silver filling doesn't harden until later on when uh, after the filling is done. However, for a tooth color filling or a um, composite filling, you can still place it with the hand instruments. You can condense it or pack it with a hand instrument, but you can't carve it because remember that you have to cure it with a curing light. So once it's cured, it's hard. You're not going to be able to carve it. So the dentist has to use the hand piece and special burrs to kind of give the tooth back its normal anatomy so make, to make it look like a tooth. Instruments selected for the tray setup vary with the dentist's preferences and the type of dental materials selected for the procedure. Accessory instruments and items. So accessory items are not necessarily included in the tray setup, but they can be pulled from dental cabinets or tub to be used for many procedures. When additional items are used for a procedure, you must follow proper infection control guidelines regarding disinfection or sterilization of the item before you place it back. So accessory instruments can be like gauze, cotton rolls, um, paper pads, articulating paper, etc. It's stuff that if you don't already have it on the tray, you can always pull it out of a drawer. But you have to be careful that you're not touching the stuff that's inside the drawer with dirty gloves. You have to always have a um, cotton pliers or cotton tip applica um, cotton tip uh, pliers on the side, clean ones that you're not using on the patient's mouth to reach for things that are in the drawer, like like gauze or cotton rolls, and you need something clean that has already been sterilized in order to do that. Preset cassette trays. Hand instruments and related accessories for a given procedure are prepared, stored, and transported together. Um, it can be a setup for an examination, a setup for amalgam or composite, crown and bridge, endodontic, which is for root canals, or surgical um, for extraction. This is a picture of a cassette, okay? It's metal, and what they do is they put the instruments in there, and you can actually sterilize this in here already, the instruments in here, so that all the instruments for a specific procedure are already all together. You just pull it out, pull it out of the, um, the autoclave, ready to use and you don't have to be looking for the specific instruments for that procedure. It's already all together. Um, more than likely, you might not see this in a dental office, depending on where you go. I see this a lot with hygienists, so they keep their, their certain instruments for cleanings together. This is an example of a preset restorative tray. So what this means is that the tray is already set up for this specific uh, procedure. So this is a procedure for I think this is for a root canal. Yes, for a root canal. OK. Um, so what happens is sometimes um, in the dentist, I, rem I remember the first time that I started working for a dentist, um, it was a private office. And what we used to do was in the back in the lab room, we used to already have these preset trays. So we would have like three trays set up for fillings for the day, like two trays set up for um, root canals, maybe one tray set up for extraction, etc. We would set up all the instruments that the doctor would need on the tray and we would put a plastic sleeve over it and we would put it in the lab on some shelves so that when we when we grabbed the patient and we saw on the chart, oh, this patient is coming in for a filling, we would just go to the back, pull out the tray, bring it into the um, into the operatory and it was already set up for us. Storage tubs. Supplies and dental materials for specific procedures can be stored in a covered plastic tub within each operatory. The combination is known as the tub and tray system. And like I had previously mentioned um, earlier in the lecture, color coding systems, one of the most convenient and efficient ways to organize instruments and supplies for specific procedures are, are um, it's instruments with bands of the same color. So if you see a whole bunch of instruments that have that all have yellow bands, then that means that the, all those instruments go together. If you see a whole bunch of instruments that all have blue bands, that means that all those instruments go together. Or a tray of the same color or a tub with dental materials of the same color. I know that in your chapter, um, on your chapter in the book, they have really good examples of instruments. You, I will go over those instruments. You will have to know them. Um, 
because when you get out into the field, you'll be using these instruments almost every day. And it's very important for you to learn them and learn what, um, what they do.